Okay, so um, here is the plane after the modification. Um, I replaced the camera from ear to ear, and it's much, much better. So, good ventilation. Um, this edge has no more use, just past cable. I put the transmitter here, and uh, the transmitter battery is, ju is just here. So, uh, let's show you. Ju oh, yeah. So, uh, I, w I was thinking to put the battery here, but it's, uh, it's small and there's not much space room. So, uh, I clamp it there. It's ugly, but that's the right place for the battery. This set has no more use and that's pretty much got to know about it. The camera pad. I put the back plate under here and there's a screw there. It's a sandwich kind. Two screw there. So uh, and if I want to remove the the top, uh, there is the the screw, the servo screw is just there, so it's easy to remove. For uh, I don't know what, but uh, that's <laughs> that's it. Okay, now the head tracking is uh, stupid proof. Here's the goggle, the Fachar goggle. There's a uh, plug air for the head tracking the battery for the headset <laughs> the cable for the head tracking this one goes to the goggle and this jack goes to the transmitter so this servo goes to channel 6 and this servo goes to channel 5 in the receiver which is there. And uh, to make it work, simply hold on a second. Okay. Connect the main battery. Open up the transmitter. Wait, on the switch. Come on. And this is a G digital server that makes some noise. Okay. Here is the battery and the connectors for the video transmitter printed there. Alright, I got it. So, with, since I use 2S battery, I plug it here. And if you use a 3S battery, you use this. Okay, when I will plug it, it'll be back. Alright, so the, the red light here, show me the transmitter is powered. The antenna is out there. Plug the battery to the oops, to the goggle. Okay, and then uh, power on the goggle with this little switch. Here, this switch. Okay, plug the cable just a second. Now that three ends. So the cable is plugged under the goggles. Put the goggles there. Okay, and the jack goes in the goes in the trainer port here. So as you plug it, which the right. Okay, the camera is aligned randomly. Okay, so when you put the goggles on, 
press this button and it will reset so the camera is there the real realign the view and you can see up and down so I've got pretty nice view in the field and you can't see much in there but pretty simple so if you if uh, during the flight I don't know the the, the camera goes this way you just push the button back push the button back and the camera realigns and I think you can't cancel the air tracking by all the no okay if you push one click the air tracking go off press again and it's back on track you see no more head tracking so when you uh, oh it's back I don't know but I think there's a way to uh, cancel the head tracking or let's see if this if you don't want to use the head tracking you see the camera is uh, here, you got your kick the trainer port. Just a second. Okay, you pull the trainer port, and the camera is <laughs> not in the right place, but you can't use this switch to cancel the tracking, but not the right place. So, it's pretty. Really easy, stupid proof, plug and play for uh, this. So, uh, and uh, the camera that came with the Fat Shark Predator, this little camera, um, actually give good, good image. Um, since the field of view of this uh, goggle is 25 degree. It's a much crisper image, so until now, I'm really happy with this uh, camera. I add this little uh, wood part, because normally I pass the cable under here, because when you go up and down, you see the cable don't mess around but when I turn it it will jump back so I got to make this thing better anyway that's uh, all for now if you have questions don't be shy alright see you later